Hey, so I have this friend who knows a guy whose great aunt's next door neighbor lived to be 120 years old and she was a smoker every single day. So I guess cigarettes aren't that bad for you. Have you ever heard anybody say something like this? What's going on here? Why can one person smoke until they're 100 and another drops dead in their 40s? What's the difference? To understand this, we have to talk about risk. No, not the board game. Whenever we talk about any health behavior, we talk about it raising or lowering your risk of certain diseases. Have you ever noticed that the reduction is almost never down to 0% or the benefit as high as 100%? Let's look at smoking. Science will tell us that a heavy smoker has about a 24% chance of developing lung cancer. Wait, but that's only 1 in 4. Why isn't that number 100%? What about those other 3 people? This actually means that the majority of people who smoke will never develop lung cancer in their lives. Does that all of a sudden mean that smoking is not a health hazard? Could it even be good for your health? Of course not. For starters, if you don't smoke, your risk of developing lung cancer is only about 1%, so smoking makes it much more likely. Second, smoking leads to all kinds of complications, not just lung cancer. Smoking raises your risk for heart disease, stroke, throat and other cancers, emphysema, bronchitis, cataracts, and diabetes, to name a few. Smoking causes day-to-day -day problems as well, raising your heart rate, impairing your lung function, and causing coughing and shortness of breath. In general, it reduces the quality of your life in the moment and 20 years down the line. Smoking is not good for you regardless of who you might know who beat the odds and lived a long and healthy life. The same is true for animal products. Eating meat, dairy, and eggs raises your risk of developing a whole host of chronic conditions. In fact, animal products have been linked to many of the same problems as smoking, including an increased risk in heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and stroke. Does this mean that every single person who eats these foods develops these conditions? Of course not. Every disease has their whatever out of four that beat the odds. But like smoking, just because some people beat the odds, it does not all of a sudden make this a healthy behavior. It still raises your risk. Likewise, even though you may never fully develop a chronic disease, the road leading to one still isn't fun and is filled with life-altering complications like obesity and lower quality of life. Again, there are problems in the moment and 20 years down the line. Okay, but all this talk about reducing our risk of chronic diseases is not only depressing, but it's actually very abstract. When you sit down at the dinner table, you're not thinking about how that meal will affect your health when you're 80 years old. You're just thinking about right now. So let's talk about right now. Going plant-based has great benefits today, not just down the road. See, I love the fact that eating this way will help me avoid a chronic disease down the road, but that's not why I went plant-based. That's not why I gave up the meat, dairy, and eggs. I actually noticed benefits from day one. And what I noticed was that I started to lose weight without trying or counting any calories. Uh, my skin cleared up and most importantly, I had more energy, like a lot more energy. Like I never felt sluggish after a meal. I always felt like ooh, it was giving me more energy and it was sort of powering my day. So the benefits of going plant-based can actually be experienced in the moment. And I think that's the best way to experience them. We don't think about how our decisions affect us down the road. We, we think about how they affect us right now. Uh, one more thing, uh, a lot of people say, well, I could never give up meat, dairy, and eggs because those are my three favorite foods. And I kind of used to be that way as well, but honestly, I don't miss them, like at all. <laughs> when I realized that the way that I was eating now 100% plant-based was making me feel incredible after my meals, like giving me a lot of energy. I no longer missed that sluggish feeling that those heavier, richer meals uh, was giving me. Have you ever heard this before? It's one of my favorites. Nothing tastes as good as healthy feels. Great aunt's next door neighbor knew a guy, this friend of mine knows a guy whose great aunt's next door neighbor knows a guy whose great aunt's next door neighbor. Whoop.